south end school, you may see me out of my clothes. You may see me at the Sparkles Club. I like speaking to the children at lunchtime, and I do love reading books. Today's book is Grandpa's Magic Slippers by Christopher Palmer. Mum, I don't want to go to Grandpa's, no, Charlie. He's always asleep, and he smells funny. I'm sorry, Charlie, his mother replied, but I have to visit your Aunt Susan at the hospital, and I'm really late, so come on, let's get you inside quickly. Now, Grandpa's just having a little nap, so why don't you play with your toys quietly, and I'll be back in an hour. And with that, his mother was gone. Charlie was bored. It was no fun when Grandpa was asleep, and he couldn't even find Alfie to play with. Hello, Grandpa. I hope I didn't wake you. I've been looking everywhere for Alfie, but I can't find him. Oh, that troublesome cat. I must have left him behind on my last trip, said Grandpa. Charlie looked puzzled. He didn't think Grandpa ever went anywhere. Come on, there's only one thing for it, Charlie. I could use your help. Grandpa, what's happening to your slippers? No time to explain, Charlie. Give me your hand. Grandpa's slippers gave out a blinding flash. The room began to spin round and round. Charlie blinked and rubbed his eyes. Grandma, Grandpa's sitting room had disappeared. They were in the middle of the desert. Wow, well, how did we get here, Grandpa? asked Charlie. Grandpa grinned. With my magic slippers, of course. Come on, we must find Alfie. They rode across the desert towards an oasis. Look at that huge tent, Grandpa. Maybe Alfie's hiding in there. Good thinking, Charlie. Let's go and have a look. Oh, that's not Alfie, Grandpa replied. Quick, let's go. The slippers gave out another flash, and before Charlie could say anything, the tent began to spin round and round. That was close. Where are we now, Grandpa? Why, I think we're in the Arctic, Charlie. Look, Grandpa, footprints. Alfie must be in the igloo. But as they crawled inside, Whoa, shouted Charlie. A bear. Quick, Grandpa, use your magic slippers. This is fun, cried Charlie. I think I can hear Alfie's purring. Listen, Grandpa. But it wasn't Alfie who was purring. Come here, Grandpa. We need your slippers again, little Charlie. Don't worry, I'll just wriggle my toes and... Just in the nick of time, my boy. Now where are we? I don't like this cave, Grandpa. No, neither do I. I think it's time to go home, Charlie. In an instant, they were back in Grandpa's sitting room. Weary and tired, but safe and sound. It's nice to be home, but we still haven't found anything. And look, Grandpa, you've lost one of your slippers, said Charlie. Goodness me, I must have dropped it in the cave. We haven't got time to go back. Your mother will be here in a minute. And with that, the door go rang. Hello, you two. Look who I found on the doorstep. It is Alfie. What on earth is he doing with your old slipper? asked Charlie's mother. Alfie, you clever thing, took a grandpa. And as Alfie padded over to the fair, he caught Charlie's eye and gave him just the tiniest wink. 